all right guys we're heading back down finally got a little bit of warm weather again it's in the 50s today Motherfucker was about to run me over, wasn't he? He was about to run me over. Anyway, I know the wind's probably bad, so that's why I'm not really talking very much. But like I said, we finally got us another good day here so we are going to go back down and hit the fishing hole again try to get back on some smallmouth I got some uh, new baits and I'll show you those when we get down here to the spot um, nothing really spectacular. One thing that I did get, I'm sure you guys were probably tired of hearing me say that I needed to get a bigger rooster tail. So that's one thing that I did get. And I'll show you that. We got a couple chatter baits, miscellaneous stuff. I did buy one fairly expensive lure that we're not going to be using today, but maybe we'll get some good ones on it this year at some point. We will find out. I did get the computer to mile per hour. So that's a good thing. But anyway, I don't want to leave the camera going for too long. So I'll shut up and pedal my butt off and try to get down here to the fishing hole. And I'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, we made it to the spot. Look at that water, my God. It is just beautiful, just beautiful, I'll tell you. I don't even know what to think. We had a couple cold days, but it got back up to 50 something today. So. We're hoping for a nice day, lots of fish. I guess we are about to see what happens. So, I hope y'all will hang out with me. I will be back to show you either the first catch of the day or the lures that we purchased last night. So, I'll see you back here in a few minutes on the bank with a fish or some lures. Well, we got this crystal clear water, boys. Uh, and I watched this fish come up and hit this. Now this is a decent smallmouth, a little bit bigger than what we were getting the other day. Um, this one's actually got a little bit of size on it. Sorry guys, I know you can't see anything. But yeah, this fish has got a little bit of size on it. Definitely still not, you know, not a monster by any means. But yeah, I watched that one come up. 
and we are on that rooster tail again guys but i got a bigger rooster tail so maybe we'll get some bigger fish on that bigger rooster tail i did cast the same rooster tail that we were casting the other day initially but i watched that fish come up and hit it and there was a follower with that fish and i started out down here i'll just show you i started out down here in this hole and it's in it, the water's not pushing as much in this hole and i didn't get a bite i threw in maybe you know four or five times right here i didn't even throw out far but i didn't get a bite there so i came down here and cast out and like i said i got followers coming in right here chasing so we'll see what happens um i'm sure you guys got tired of hearing me crying about that reel in the last video so i put this old diwa on here uh i've had this for years this is eight pound p line i like p line pretty good but anyway let's see if we can get one right here this is about what i did last time just a you know medium cast or so brought it right through there and right there is where they started chasing it last time. I did not see any this time. But they are hitting. I mean, the bass are in here. I don't know when the big dogs will be coming up, but they'll be here. I don't see... Of course, there's not a lot out here for them to bed on. But they will bed right here. They will bed right here in this area, but... You know, you can see there's a lot of bigger rocks out there. There's not really any pea gravel or anything for them to make a bed on. There's some, there's some areas, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, there's a lot of shelf rock out there and bigger river rock. But I am interested to try that bigger rooster tail out. This one here that I've been throwing is a quarter ounce. This is the one that I've been catching all the fish on. Um, but I got another one similar to this. And I'll show you guys here in a minute. It's similar to this. It's more solid colored here in the middle. But uh, it's a half ounce rather than a quarter. So we'll try that out. So far this Daiwa feels okay. I need to get used to it. need to get used to it it seemed to me that i got those followers when i was bringing it down river river <laughs> down river yeah when i came down like this it seemed like is when i got the the followers and and yeah i basically just slowed the lure down and let that guy hit it and he did so oh uh, uh, good gracious boys we got one on that swim bait I rigged up on that spinner that I put that swim bait on. Feels like a good one. Feels like a nice smallmouth. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Best one of the year so far, boys. Best one of the fucking year so far. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to cut down on that stuff. I'm trying to be a little more family friendly, but good gracious. Uh, you know. <laughs> trying to be more family friendly imagine that anyway yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to cut down on that stuff guys so you know bear with me uh i'll get better uh just give me a little time so don't let me step on my bait anyway one more time real quick and we'll get her back in the water it's a pretty nice smallmouth. I'm getting you right back in the water, baby. Just give me one minute. I don't know if you guys can even see, it, see that. I'm going to say 14 and a half. Nicest one of the year so far pretty fish 
Let's let her go. Good God. She hit like a damn tanker truck. I am not kidding you guys. She nailed that bait. That may be my new favorite bait, guys. Holy shit. Right there it is. Um, that, like I said, that one hit that rooster tail earlier, but I think this is a booyah. Uh, swim bait, or I mean spinner bait. Strike King, Strike King is what it is. Um, but that little thing there as a trailer, I don't know what it is. But when they hit it, that turns sideways, so the hook sets good, you know. I'll tell you what, I'm liking that lure right there. Anyway, that was the best smallmouth so far this year. What was it, 14 and a half? That's not bad. That's not bad. That was a beautiful fish as well. I wanted to get her back in the water as quick as possible. But being that... She was the nicest one so far this year. I wanted to get a measurement on her. I'm pretty sure she's the nicest one so far. That one I got at the very end of the last video was... Uh, that one was pretty good. It was probably near, near the size of that one. All right, guys. We caught those couple of fish. So now what we're going to do is... Um, get in here and see the new lures that we got, okay? Let's hurry up and do that. Listen, guys, I know you've heard the old saying, do as I say, not as I do. Um, don't carry this much shit, guys. I mean, if you're a young man, you got a good back, by all means, if I can carry the whole world. But if you're an old guy like me, don't carry all this shit. It's just, for one, you're never going to use it all. Anyway, um, let's go through this real quick. Here is the half ounce rooster tail. Like I said, it's a little darker through here. Uh, definitely want to try this out. Um, another quarter ounce rooster tail, a little different pattern, but I'm telling you, the black tail is the way to go. Um, quarter ounce. This is the same one that I've been running, the one that we've been catching all the small ones on. Here's the big dog I was talking about. Now this is the smaller version. This is the Whopper Plopper 90, but I wanna get some uh, nice large mouth on this. Uh, we got a couple chatterbaits and the pumpkin, uh, green pumpkin, uh, green pumpkin trailers to go with the chatterbaits. This is one bunch. Uh, got some frogs. These bass love frogs. Um, some more frogs to go with the chatterbaits. Uh, another chatter, uh, chatterbait. And uh, Miss Janice said, got to get these. So we're going to try this Helgramite out. As a matter of fact, it actually does look pretty good with the chatterbait. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but uh, I might try that out. And then, of course, we got, I can't find the ones that I usually get, but these are my, these are my go-tos right here, guys. Uh, and these four inch, I hadn't seen these four inch in this model before. These are a bigger four inch. I really like them a lot. So uh, we'll be trying those out too. We will catch some big bass on these this year. You will be seeing these in some videos. All right. And then of course we've got our plastic silverware. <laughs> silver plastic wear. All right, so anyway, that's the new lures, guys. We're gonna go up here and see what we can hit in one of these other holes. So hopefully I'll be coming back here very soon with another fish. Another fucking nice one, boys. It's a little bit later in the day now, but this is a good looking fish. I don't think this one's quite as big as the last one, but very pretty. Very pretty. She got a big old fat belly on her. Beautiful little small mouth. I'll take that any day of the week, every day of the week, 
it is just beautiful for me. I love it. Thank you. Once again, that fish hit on this lure. I don't, uh, I don't know what to say about it. They're hitting it. <clears throat> Gonna be getting dark here very soon, guys, but before it does get dark i just wanted to get on here and say thanks for watching the video i'm probably just going to go ahead and post this um i know we only caught three fish of course the night's not over yet we might get another one here in just a few minutes but uh yeah who knows what's going to happen we may get another one so anyway like I said, thanks for watching the video. I'm not sure where to put this thing at right now. It's pretty damn hot up there. Maybe I'll just put it right like that. See what happens, what do y'all think? Is that redneck enough for you? can't get it to sit still even with the rock it wants to flip over there that ain't gonna work either I will get it I will get this to work somehow probably need a bigger rock for one thing it would just stay right there that would probably be good but it won't <clears throat> now it's not very hot right there but over time that's probably going to do good and we need a little bit of time so now the key is to not hit the rock and ruin the whole deal now this fire is going to kick up here where I've got everything piled in there, but that's all good. That's what we want. As long as we don't smoke the wiener, we don't want it smoked. Well, actually, if it was smoked, that would probably be okay. nothing better than just sitting down here on the riverbank eating fishing and just enjoying this beautiful weather I always wish Miss Janice could have made it down here tonight she would have had a good time I want to get her on one of these fish. She needs to catch one of these bigger fish. We're going to get her some. It won't be long. We're going to get her some fish. I don't know. Maybe I better not sit that too close because I won't be able to get back a hold of it. Let's see. Where's the best spot, guys? This is eventually gonna kick up over here and this will get hot. As a matter of fact, there's a pretty good bit of heat coming off here right now. So I think what I'll do is just leave it like this. And when, the, when it starts boiling out, we'll know it's time to move it, right? That's a pretty good idea. All right, guys. We have started a bit of a trash pile again over here, but I think what I'll do, look at that. Who the hell leaves that out here, man? That, that it can mess up all kinds of shit. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out with me tonight instead of coming and getting it later. Put that down there with 
everything else and let's go see if we can catch a fish real quick might as well can you guys see this in the water look how pretty that is in the water that looks good that looks good all right let's see what the fish think See what the fish think. Do they like it or no? <clears throat> yeah. It's a beautiful time of year, that's for sure. This is my favorite time of year, without a doubt. I love springtime, love spring fishing, getting out. Just nothing better. Nothing better than springtime. Like to get up on the mountain this winter and get some of them monster trout. Ah, oh, I think it's wrapped. Something's not right. That sucks. Slid up on the hook. That does happen from time to time. Look, I just got surface. Isn't that something? You gotta get out there. There's a pocket out there where they hang out. And if you don't make it out there to them, they, they don't hit it. You gotta get all the way out there. And it's out there a good bit. There are some up and down through here in a few little holes here and there. But for the most part, there's a big hole out there that like 90% of them hang out in. But it's hard to get out there. It's a little bit further than that right there. Oh, goodness. Oh, it might not have been a little bit further than that right there, guys. <laughs> it might have been right there. I keep hitting this damn tree limb up here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's starting to piss me off. That's probably why I missed that fish right there. Damn it. Darn it. Look, he, he come after it. He about ripped the tail off. Probably a little bitty guy. Uh, I'd like to get that monster though. I would love to get that monster. Oh shit. We got problems, boys. Our wainer's getting smoked. I said we didn't want a smoked wainer. Honestly, uh, it really wasn't getting bad. <laughs> it wasn't getting smoked too bad at all. Uh, let's put our stick back on. And just tell it to hang out here. Now, I know shit's going to happen here in the next little bit, but that's okay. That is okay. As long as it's not too close, we'll be all right. You know what I mean? Because if you get it too close, that's when stuff goes wry. But I just had a good fish hit over here. <laughs> We gotta go try it again. I do have some more of these swim baits, so if this one gets messed up, I can put another one on. His tail looks okay. That's good, he'll look injured. Oh, that was a good one, that got out there to him. This little big mama hit it this time. Let her get a hold of it. A hold of it, I say. Not a damn, but I'm pretty sure we had a hit there a little bit ago. Yeah, um, okay. I think it's sliding around on the hook now and that's kind of messing with stuff. If it's on there perfect, boy, it looks good. So let's just hope that we can get it out there and keep it perfect. Oh, that was a good cast there. We got out there deep. We got out there where they're at. They didn't want it though. Not out that deep anyway. Maybe they'll hit it when we get in here a little closer.
that was the hole, boys. I'm, maybe I was downstream a little bit from it. Maybe I need to come back upstream a little bit. I don't know. But we'll try it again and see what happens. We'll come upstream a little bit. What do you think? Oh, no, we won't come upstream a little bit because I just lost it. That's all right. We'll go ahead and fish it out. We'll go ahead and fish it out. All right, beautiful. The fire died down, so we're good on the hot doggies. I'll try to come up upstream a little bit, not mess my cast up this time, guys. I'm not a professional. I'm just a part-timer. I don't know if that came upstream any or not, to be honest with you. But it's still in that area. They, that's where they like to hang out. They do, they do. Well, I'm gonna go one more cast with this thing and then I am gonna cut the camera off and I think I'm gonna tie on one of those pearl white minnows and just see what we get. Ah, I keep going that same place. That's not where I wanna go. I mean, the rooster tail has been effective, but it's been a lot of little dinks on that thing, and it's just, you know. I'd rather hit a monster with this. That's a little bit better, but I think it... I think maybe it was up, up upstream a little too much, to be honest. I swear I think that pocket's down there. Maybe I'm just not getting out there to the pocket quite all the way. That is possible. But I'm sure trying. That was a little further. I'm sure they were probably like, what is this guy thinking? He's threw that lure in here 75 times. We're not gonna eat that thing. We're not gonna eat that damn lure, man. What's the matter with you? Okay. I'll try something else. <laughs> Will you fall for something else? Oh boys, oh boys, we got one. Oh boys, we got one. She picked it up up high, up top. Oh, they love this fucking thing. Sorry guys, they love this thing. This daggone thing, this darn thing. Holy cow. Wow, now we're getting fish, guys. Now we're getting fish. These boys have come up and run all the little dinks off. These must be third year guys or something. They've run all the little dinks off. Man, I cannot get that hook out. It's in him. Well, that's a pretty small mouth. Pretty small mouth right there. Look at that thing, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I love these fish, man. Now I gotta try to get this out of his jaw. It's in his eye and everything, daggone it. Uh, oh, it came out, guys. It came out. Man, you don't know how happy that makes me. I hate to hurt him. I hope his eye's okay. I hope his eye's okay. I don't know. They look to be. He looks okay. I think he's good to go. Anyway, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Thank you. Thank you for hitting that, baby. Good job. Man, I hate when they get hooked and, and you can't get them unhooked, guys. I really do. Wow. Another one on that lure. I just cannot believe it. <laughs> I really can't, guys. I, I can't believe they... That's, that's, that's it right there, what they've been hitting, believe it or not. <laughs> uh holy cow boys holy cow uh this may 
be the best fish I get this year. Uh, holy cow. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Um, my anti-reverse just went backwards on me. Uh, oh. oh my God. Holy cow, guys. Holy cow. Oh. Monster fish, boys. Monster fish. Monster smallmouth. Can you see it? You can't probably see it. Oh my God. This might be the best fish I get this year, guys. Holy cow. Holy cow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing my, kind of losing my cool right here, guys. <laughs> but this may be the best smallmouth I get this year. Holy fucking God. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my composure, guys. I'm trying to keep my composure. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Oh. Holy cow. I'm trying to hurry, baby. I'm trying to hurry. Look at this small mouth, guys. Look at this thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. You're looking at... Right there, Sarah. It's 19 at least, guys, at least 19. I, and I'm being fair, I'm being fair. That's probably, look at the belly on this small mouth. Look at that belly. That pan, I, I don't know what that fish weighs. I don't know what that fish weighs, but I probably will not get another one that big this year. That is unbelievably beautiful. I am happy for the rest of this year. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, guys. Uh, I am so glad that I came back to that hole and, and cast in there one more time. Holy cow. Whew. To catch that fish from right here on the bank right here on the bank, it's just, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> oh man, I almost didn't get that fish too because my anti-reverse messed up, but